Hi, my name is Heather Belchunas, and I'm with the Somerville Arts Council. I'm Kelby Bird, and I am currently serving as the chair of the board for the Arts Council. And uh, we're here to talk to you today about the uh, Somerville Arts Council Summit that took place. And uh, one of the things that I uh, wanted to share is how it came about. Um, the Arts Council has, I think probably within, within going back about 30 years or so, and through then we've evolved and changed. And a few years ago, I believe, Kelby, you helped out with an envisioning process because it was mm -hmm. going through some changes. Now, uh, Eight years later, 2016, there's a lots of things that are happening in Somerville. And one of the things that uh, we thought as an organization, we're evolving, we're changing, the community is changing. What does that mean for us as an organization and how does the work we do impact the Somerville community? So uh, Kelvi, who is also a graphic facilitator, she helped us through uh, the process um, at a staff retreat and we went over our, our core values and what we do as an organization. We took that great information um, from that meeting and we took it to our board and we spent the day kind of going over some of the key rules that we do youth programming, events, grant programming, and a myriad of other uh, things that we do. And then we said, you know what, let's bring this to the community. Uh, we would love to get the feedback and, and see what the community knows about us, what we can do better, and what are the next steps for us and the community to be able to work together to, um, in, the, in the constant evolution of Somerville. And uh, Kelvi uh, also helped through that uh, facility process for the Art Summit, so I'm going to have her explain a little bit more about that process. Yeah, so um, also just to note, one of the things that came out of those series of like lead-in meetings that we had as smaller groups and then the board and then lead, leading up to the summit was just a realization that the, the scope of what the Arts Council is taking on has really changed over even the last five years, the last five to ten years. And I think I've been involved with the arts community here for about 15 years or so. And um, what was really important to be advocating for then at that point in time, which was before the armory was in place and before Union Square is, you know, the way it is now, was that's really changed. So the things that were relevant to be to be fighting for and having a voice for have shifted. And part of what we were looking to address throughout the summit process was to get current. So to find out what is really needed um, for Somerville now and how the council can meet those needs and what needs to shift for that to happen. So um, I think we, we did a good job of really starting to name the full scope between seeing a lot of the things that are in place that are working, like some of the festivals, the culinary programs, the grants, and then also identifying some of the issues that are really pressing on the city now because of the development going on. So we had, we had some, some featured talk around um, economic development, we called it the cultural economic development breakout session, and also physical space development to preserve artist studios and, and, and physical places that people could be working, and youth development. And so, so we realized that there was a blend between existing activities and some necessary uh, new expanded uh, areas as well. And we dove into all of that at the summit. So. Uh, yeah, and I think uh, one of the things, one of the key things that kind of came out from that is uh, what we have the capacity to do as a staff. We're, we're a staff of four. Um, we have Greg Jenkins, who is, the, who is the executive director, Rachel Strutt, who is the uh, cultural program director, uh, Nina Eichner, uh, who is the special events coordinator, and myself, who is the office manager. We do also have a series of uh, folks who help us out in the office too with the, with the Nibble Entrepreneur Program. And we have fabulous volunteers and our board, who's also a volunteer board, I do want to note that, that uh, go and do outreach mm -hmm. and, and, with, and with the community. Um, we also do partner with a lot of the uh, city departments. But within um, 
that range of, of, uh, of, of activities in our office and uh, throughout citywide, we also can't really do it ourselves. So, mm -hmm. and it's how do we uh, communicate that? How do we empower people to be able to uh, take on that? And how do we um, address that with other organizations and collaborations and partnerships? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of uh, in like having different, different organizations entwine and collaborate and how do we facilitate that uh, in a very um, uh, respectful way. Okay, so a huge thank you to everybody who came out to the summit and people who've been involved in the process over the years. It was one summit, but it's really been a long time that people have been committed um, and given their energy to the local arts community. So we want to send out a big thanks and um, offer ways to stay in touch because this is just one point in time and we want to keep the conversation going. So ways that you can continue to stay involved, that we can all continue to stay involved, are through check in with the website, with the SAC website. Mm -hmm. We have a survey yeah. there. Um, uh, yeah, we have, the, we have a survey uh, that uh, is, is uh, still open on our website, summerbillartscouncil.org. Um, and also other ways that you can um, yeah, um, I forgot to mention earlier, one big thing that came out of the summit was the need for us as artists in the community and creatives in the community to stay active. So the council can, can only do so much. They're a city agency, and we need to continue to contact our aldermen to organize, to surface for ourselves and for each other what's important and, and, and what needs our attention in any given moment, and, you know, help the whole rise. Like, it takes... It takes a village. It's going to take everybody in Somerville to really uh, keep the arts as a vibrant part of the community as it as it expands and um, develops. And um, also, our board <laughs> meetings are open to the public yeah. too, so people can go there. Um, it um, it meets uh, once a month, so only for a couple hours. Um, also, we have a volunteer form that's on our uh, website too, as well. And if and, and, and our website is also a great resource for those of people who aren't really familiar with the Arts Council or new to Somerville and are interested in uh, what we do. We have a lot of information on our website, too, as well. And to reiterate what Kelby said, thank you so much for all who uh, came out. Uh, we really couldn't do it without uh, your help as a community and the help of our volunteers and uh, the support of the city. So. Thank you, thank you, and uh, this is just uh, one more, st one one step into uh, to the greater good and a larger conversation, and we look forward to it.